friends in this session we will be talking about resilience and uh, we will be discussing about what is resilience then foundational assumptions of resilience resilience core and the strategies to promote resilience as well as the basis biological basis for resilience resilience is the ability to positively adapt grow and thrive no matter what rides into your life and this resilience research came a long way from schizophrenic patients and children from war war uh, affected uh, people to the disaster victims and sexual exploitation so in such type of situations why do people why do some people respond to stress and hardship with a renewed vigor and forward thinking while others do not and there is a lot of differences in defining resilience in the literature but there are four markers through which one can specify the resilience one is that it is the ability on the part of the individual to perform effectively under pressure and at the same time the individual can bounce back from adversities difficulties and stressful situations and he can manage his health and well being and understand how to achieve optimum performance in such stressful situations and this resilience is also other words are used with it and the question frequently comes that is it is a trait or a process when it is a trait it may be assumed that some people are resilient by birth when it is a process facing the adverse situations from the experience and through the child child rearing practices individual also develops certain ways and means to adjust with the stressful situations and even if the individual faces the stressful stimuli he can bounce back and he can bounce back and maintain the balance maintain the physical emotional and cognitive resources in a optimal conditions even in adverse situations so therefore it is the ability on the part of the individual to perform effectively under performance as well as bounce back from adversities and difficulties and maintain his optimum performance in adverse situations there are four fundamental foundational assumptions about resilience and it says the social competency model speaks that the conditions of possessing social emotional and academic skills is needed for successful adaptation to adverse situations the social developmental model asks why both social and antisocial behavior why both social and antisocial behaviors are shown by adults because the social behavior develops by bonding with social institutions 
it may be a family it may be the school it may be the colleges it may be the community where we live and the members of the clubs and so on that builds the bond with that and through this social bonding we will learn the different behaviors and if we learn the behaviors then why the same per, why these individuals going through these social institutions why some people show the social while others show antisocial behavior the risk factor speaks that there are certain factors that increases the vulnerability of the individual to stressful situations if the if it is a parents are quarreling the spouses in the families are quarreling with one another or there is a divorce if the individual does not accepted by his peer group and there is low academic achievement leading to low self esteem or the poor quality of school it will be a vulnerable marker for the individual that he may not be resilient but despite of these things also he found the evidence that even if these things are there some people also come from that sort of families those who are resilient the protective factors speaks that with the self regulation connections and attachment in the family and social achievement and with social network and with personality traits one can protect himself against the adversities or he will be he or she will become resilient having said that the resilience score mentions that having certain qualities one person can be resilient he can meet the adversities and at the same time he can deal effectively with it keeping the mental physical keeping the optimum mental physical and cognitive resources intact the person is more likely to be resilient if he has a if he has the purpose and meaning in life purpose is the driving force if you have a purpose in life you are less likely to be affected by the difficulties and adversities in life another is perseverance determination to keep going despite difficulties discourage and setbacks and some of the personalities like that they will not they will not think much about the failure in life they will overcome it like when the when the person is having or the perseverance people are having grit and the individual have being gritty he can put a foot in the in the things in which you are engaged and he will do it interest to achieve the goal so effort and interest are two parameters and consistently he will put on effort till he achieves the goal despite the setbacks and hardships is a unique personality trait so also a poor psychological force or a personality you call it hardiness psychological hardiness like gritty if such persons even they fail in life they will overcome it because their temperament is like that third is equanimity harmony and balance if you are optimistic and if you have the positivity then you will never then, then you will find the courage in adverse situations you will man maintain you will become calm and composed it will not disturb you much because a optimist has a tendency if you give a glass of water 
he will all the time say that it is half filled or a pessimist will say that it is half empty. Similarly, he will all the time look to the positive side and if you have the optimism, if you have the vigor, if you have the hope, these are some of the positive attributes, positive attributes and that positivity will help you to overcome the setbacks and difficulties and you will bounce back from difficulties and come out with success in the end of adverse situations. Similarly, another is the self reliance that is believing in yourself and he said that it comes through practice and experience. It comes through practice and experience that leads to confident in yourself. And the self reliance coming through experience teach you how to de deal with the difficult situations and adversities in your life. May be a divorce, may be a death of the close relatives or having an accident or facing a dress new stressful situations in a new environment, putting yourself in a new environment. So, from the experience gradually you learn how to deal with such adverse situations and gradually you develop the problem solving skills to adapt with that situations. If the person is sexually assaulted, if you have the self reliance skills, if you know the tricks how to fight and take the karate classes, you will not fear the other people. You can handle the goons. And through and a learning experience teach you that way how you will deal it, deal with it. Say for example, being in a, being the young, if a failure occurs, you will feel frustrated. But with growing age, person like me will hardly feel for a failure. Because with a failure, I can find out the different ways and means how I can succeed in a particular task. I will bounce back to deal with the problem. I will not feel frustrated. So, therefore, practice and experience teach you the, new, the problem solving skills and your resistance to adversities and failures. Next is authenticity. Resilient individuals learn to live with themselves. They are a different type of brand. They are their best friends. They know their self. They continuously try to improve their self and their ability. They live with courage and conviction. So, If you think all these things, all these attributes, these are the core of resilience. You are more likely to bounce back when you face the adversities or the difficult situations in life. And this resilient individual, the persons having the attributes or the resilient individuals, they think that we have much to contribute. They find many possibilities in life and they have the courage to contribute and they will walk in a path white others will not dare to walk in that path. They are a brand for themselves and they will be a image creator, they will be the image for others and they also do the things 
and set the examples for others. And they think that life is a in life of ordinary men they do many of the extraordinary things not extraordinary people do extraordinary things we have much to contribute and the people having the resilience they can strive hard they have a purpose they have a per per perseverance they have the harmony and balance they believe in them themselves and they know themselves and they thereby they can surpass the hardships however there are three strategies we will be discussing for promoting resilience in children and youth one is risk focused strategy that preventing or reducing risk and stressors another is asset focused strategy improving the number or quality of resources or the social capital in the social setting third is process focused strategy or mobilizing the power of human adaptational systems in these three strategies in risk focused strategy prevent or reduce for children prevent the prevent or reduce the likelihood of low birth weight or prematurity through parental care prevent the child abuse or neglect to parent education reduce teenage drinking smoking and drug use through community programs prevent the homelessness by providing the emergency assistance or making a housing policy for all reduce the rivalrous crimes and violence through community policing so even if there are the risk to the children and adults some of the ways are there where we can prepare the ways to reduce the risk ways and means to reduce the risk or prevent the stressors and these are called the risk focused strategy and it is context specific some of the exam these are some of the examples in any case it can be thought of and it can be contextualized what can be a risk focused strategy to reduce the risk or reduce the stressors or prevent the risk like in a disasters in post disaster people suffer from a trauma post disaster trauma there is anxiety depression post traumatic stress disorder and so on this risk prevention strategy that you mobilize the resources through international donors through ngos through government help link link the people or the survivor of the disasters to this resource base give them the economic assistance give them the economic assist give them the economic assistance give them the informational support connect them with the service providers empower them and self develop them so that they can do something to earn a living make their house so in the process when they are involving in each and every steps they are they will develop the resilience so therefore resilience can be made by providing economic support by providing social networks by providing the avenues for earning by providing the different ways so that people can deal with the stress and strain in post disasters even collective prayers empowerment of people and skill development of people to engage in new jobs and earn a living so these are the means through which the resilience of the people can be developed these are the risk focused strategies how you can institutionalize certain mechanisms so that the stressor can be 
reduced or the risk can be mitigated. Risk is asset focused strategies or improving the number or quality of resources or the social capital. For a children if you want provide a tutor who can guide the child and who can be a good tutor to teach him the life skills so that he can sustain in adverse situations. And in the asset focus strategy create the asset organize the girls and the boys clubs organize a girls or boys club offer the parent education classes. So, that if the parents are provided education they can teach to their child how to deal with the stress and other things. Build a recreation center in the community. So, these are the strategies where the assets can be created and the through the asset the social capital can be improved the connection of the people with others can improve as well as the trust, reciprocity, care, affection among the community members can be improved. So, that if a person is facing the adversity that can be observed in the community itself through these social capital assets. And the process focus strategy that means, there is a process mobilizing the power of human adoptional systems and in psychological term we call it build the self efficacy by providing the training. Okay. So, that the individual will feel that he is competent enough to handle the crisis and teach the effective coping strategy, because in any situation when you face there are two permanent strategy you use either it can be a problem focused strategy where you will directly hit on the problem and at the same time how you can handle the problem we will think of it and find out a find out the ways and means to handle the problem. This is a problem focused strategy or you can go for a emotion focused coping. That means, you, you will try that somebody else is there to take care of me. The right strategy to deal with a crisis is the problem focused strategy. Analyze the problem, find out the way, find out the way out and execute the way out. This is a problem focused strategy. Rather than many people what they do, they think that others will take care of me in crisis. And if you do that, then the individual will never feel competent to handle the crisis and fail the crisis and, and, and face the crisis and come out successfully maintaining the emotional, cognitive and the physical resources intact, physical balance intact. and uh, teach effective coping strategy for specific threatening situations such as program to prepare children for surgery, how they will go with a surgery. Before a surgery, if you counsel the child, then the child is more likely to be cured in lesser days compared to a, compared to a child who is not counseled before a surgery. So, therefore, uh, teach effective coping strategies. And foster the secure attachment, there are two types of attachment we have with our parents. One is called the secure attachment, another is called the insecure attachment. The secure attachment with the parents and community will tell you that you can trust on the people. You can seek their resources when you are in crisis, but in insecure attachment we you will feel that the community members cannot be trusted, the friends and relatives cannot be trusted. And insecure attachment leads to your fear, anxiety, stress, whereas a secure attachment which develops through parenting, family relations, community relations will teach you and you can you can also develop the trust, faith and other trust, faith and cooperation from others when you are in crisis. So, therefore, foster this secure attachment where the children will feel secure with the family, with the school and with the community. And that why when they are in crisis, they can draw the resources from there and come out with success when there are difficulties. So, therefore, training sensitivity training and home visit program for new parents and their infants can be provided for this. 
and nurture mentor, mentoring relationship for children through a program to match children with potential mentors. And encourage friendship of children with pro-social peers in healthy activities such as in extracurricular activities the children can be involved. Support cultural tradition that provides children with adaptation with adaptive rituals and opportunities for bonds with pro-social adults. And the, there is a for the basis of behavior you show the resilience, it is a psychological behavior. And in the basis of behavior, we know that biological factors of resilience is suggested by neural, neuroendocrine and immune system functions in relation to stress reactivity. That means, whatever biological system is working to manage stress, the same biological factors can be accountable or the system can work to be resilient. But one lesson is there, psychological experiences can modify brain structure, brain functioning as well as brain wiring also. So, therefore, even if this, the psychological factors are strong like the core qualities of the individual are there for resilience, then in that case the brain wiring will be changed accordingly, so that you can be more resilient too. Thank you.